it's the Puppy Lover 7 with um, Lilac, the Blueberry Cheeky Dog. Yeah, I brought her to the stuff, and yeah, by the way, that's me. <laughs> um, so, right now, I was like, uh, um, I felt uh, Lilac, and I said, and she was like wet on her feet, and I was like, who? Lilac's feet are wet. Who wetted her? And then my dad said, water spilled on her by mistake. And I said, it's okay, I'll just give her a bath. So, you know how I said in my room tour video on my channel that I, this camera, I won't be able to make water videos with this camera because it's really delicate? Well, I said, Mom, why can't I film with this camera? Because I really be careful with it and it doesn't break. And then she said, I think that you could film baths and pool and water stuff. You just can't put it too close to the sink. So I was like, okay, because I really wanted to film with water. So I didn't film. I didn't fill up the tub yet, and it. I need to fill it up. So I need to take some stuff down so I can set the camera somewhere. Yeah, that's good. I me just move my tooth, the toothbrush. It's not my toothbrush, my brother's. So, hopefully this doesn't ruin, ruin my camera. Because I really love this camera. And it uploads good. So, I need to fill up the water. And I need to... So, I'm going to show you the safest way to wash your webkins. Because sometimes people don't like... Don't wash their webkins safe for some reason. So, I'm going to show you the best way to do it. First, you need a sink like this one, like a full-size sink, or you can do it in a bathtub, either one, the sink or the bathtub, that they won't hurt your webcams, the sink or the bathtub is fine. So, I'm using the sink because it's like a, the perfect size for webcams. So, I we're going to have to clean the bathroom because it's really gross. But it won't stay on here, so you're going to need a clean sink, but my sink is all dirty, but it's, like, it won't get on her. I cleaned it a little bit. So, you're going to have to put your, before you push that down, you're going to need hot water, and then put it in the middle, and then it will make perfect size water. So, and then you just wait for it to... So, fill your tub up to about here, like, yeah, that's good, like that much, and then you need, you don't have to film it, this is just how you give your work to bed. So, if you're going to film it, you need a camera that is okay to film water with, because some cameras you're not allowed to film water with it. So, my camera's okay to, so then you just dunk your webkins in. You gotta make sure that it is the perfect temperature. If it's a little hot, then that will be okay. You just need it to like. Then you just need to soak them up really, really good. Then you squeeze them out. Then you have to like. I shut the door because I don't want anybody coming in here. Well, I'm doing the view. Then you need. Some hand soap, it doesn't matter. You can use any kind of soap that you want. You just need some sort of soap. I'm using vanilla cream and soy. I don't, that's like, and then if it's hand soap, you take it like that, and then you get a little bit onto the thing. And then you just like rub it onto your webkins, and it, then it looks really nice. Okay, let me just dry off my hand so I can move the camera a little bit closer, but not too close. No, okay, perfect. Then you just, like, you can, like, pour a little bit onto your weapons. So, then you just, like, rub it. Sorry, can you saw my face? You can see my hair because... Then just scrub it really easy. Don't, like, scratch it and scrub it. Because then it could, like, I don't know, like, just put a little bit of soap. Um, and then just scrub it. Like, you don't have to, don't scratch it because then it could, like, get inside the webkins. Then it could, like, fungus or something. 
So I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just showing you not to do what to do. So just don't scratch too hard. Just do it nice and easy. Don't do it too hard because then it could like get inside the webcams and it'll feel like weird. Then it'll look weird, like get a fungus or something. So just be careful. You can scratch it, but just be careful with your webcams because you don't want it. So then just rinse it with cold water, like a little bit of cold. I don't know why, I just think cold water is better, but you don't have to rinse it with cold water if you don't want to. Be sure to let, to have the drain up. And then, just like, rub it a little. Hopefully, this camera doesn't hurt me. That's really hot. So be sure, if you make a little mistake, that's fine. Just like, be really careful. Because you don't want your webcams to like, get all what this thing off. So, just, just be careful. Just like, squeeze it. Until it's like, really nice looking. If you ever forget how to wash your webcams, then you're, then you're welcome to watch this video again to see how to do it. So you could watch this video again if you forget. You're welcome to. You are more than welcome to. <laughs> I think that's more polite. So then just set the water when all the soap is out. Then just like squeeze it, like really gently, and then like twirl up the ears like that, and like squeeze. Not too hard, because that can damage or something. Actually, can squeeze a little hard. It won't hurt. It's kind of like a massage or something. So just squeeze it. That sounds really weird. It sounds like going to the bathroom or something. Okay, that's really gross. In front of the camera. Okay, just squeeze it and get all the water out. Well, you don't have to get all the water out. You can leave some water in. It's okay. Just get some water out. Just mostly get all the water out. It doesn't really, yeah. It depends if your weapons have long fur or short hair. If it has short hair, then it's the perfect webkins to wash. If it has long hair, then it'll take a while to dry. Well, all webkins take a while to dry, but long fur webkins, like Persians or Old English Sheepdog, those, yeah, they, the furry ones, they really, they, they have it take about two hours to dry the short hair webkins like these and stuff they take about 25 minutes to dry i don't even know but not too long the long hair webkins take about yeah like two hours to dry okay once you got once your webkins is all nice and tidy just dry your hands off if you're filming okay so that's it for the bath so I gotta use like snap. And there it is. So then just get a medium sized towel. I laid it down. Then just like plop your webkins right there. I need to set the camera down. Like, yeah. Okay, this thing's open so I can see. This is a really cool camera because like it can open. So then just like put your webkins like all the way at the ends. And then just like I don't know, just Okay, my hair's really long, so I could barely see what I'm doing because my hair is really, really long. So just like wrap your webkins up in a towel, it won't make them suffocate because it's just like a thin towel. Make sure your towel's not too. Oh my gosh, my hair is getting in the camera. Oh my gosh. I don't want you to see my hair. Well, it's okay if you do, but it's just like getting in the way. Oh my gosh, I can't have one moment without seeing my hair. My hair's so long. My hair is wicked long. I can barely see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, my hair keeps getting in my eye. In my eye. That's weird. Because usually my hair 
doesn't really get in my eye, but just because I'm making a video, it has to get in my eye. Wonder. I'm just being sarcastic. Just being silly. Okay, hopefully. You could put it in the dryer, don't worry, it won't hurt your webcams, it'll make them really nice. Some people don't like to put their webcams in the dryer, like, Webkin Skater Girl is one of them, because she really doesn't want to put her webcams in the dryer, I saw it on Maddie's first bath. Um, she said never to put your webcams in the dryer, but, um, I tried putting my webcams in the dryer once, just to try it out and nothing happened. It made them really nice. So. Some people don't like to put their weapons in the dryer, some people do. Yeah, that's just other people's opinion. That's really not. Then dry their, then turn them upside down. Like that. Oh my god. My hair keeps getting, then just wipe their tummy. <laughs> Kinda, it might take all your weapons, but that's okay. Then, if they then, if they're not too wet, you're, you're gonna probably know if, oh, stupid hair. No, not stupid hair, I like my hair, but when it gets in the way, it just really annoys me. And when, yeah, she looks like she's really dry, but she's not. So, if your web, you should know if your webkins is dry enough to blow dry it, but it could be like, I'll put my webkins in the dryer, then, oh no, we have to wait until the next load. So that is exactly how the safest way to give your weapons a breath. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye. Well, if it's like not too wet, like this one's really wet, so I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I'm going outside for a minute. So yeah, sorry, I just had to talk. So if your weapons is like kind of wet, then just come outside. Look at the clean condition. So, I'm outside right now. So, if you, if your webkins is like wet, then you're, you put it outside in the sun. If it's cold out, just put it in the dryer or, or wait until the next load. Or if your mom, if you're allowed to just do it with, by itself, then that's fine. And then just shut the door. And your webkins will be nice and clean, and then you can blow dry it a little, and then throw it in the dryer. So that's the safest way how to give your webkins a bath. You don't have to wash your webkins the exact thing that I did, but just be sure to be really careful not to damage your webkins by washing them. So it doesn't ruin their fur to wash them. Just be really careful, okay? So that's the safest way to give your webkins a bath. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.